adding and subtracting algebraic expressions example 2. Now before we get into this it's really important that we're reminded how to add and subtract fractions and in some ways it's easy in some ways it's difficult for instance if I have the fractions 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4 adding them involves keeping the denominator the same so the 4's stay the same and adding the numerators 2 plus 1 is 3 so 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is 3 quarters that's a nice basic one but it gets more difficult when you have a question similar to question A imagine I had 3 over 8 plus a quarter now this becomes tricky because the denominators are not the same and the only way to truly add fractions is to make the denominators the same so what I would suggest doing is we'll keep 3 over 8 as 3 over 8 but we're going to change 1 over 4 to 2 over 8 and the way I did that is I doubled both the numbers 1 over 4 when doubled is 2 over 8 and you're always allowed to do this with fractions you can double them you can triple them you can multiply them by 5 as long as you do the same to the top and bottom of the fraction all right now when I add them up I can just go 3 plus 2 is 5 and the 8 stays the same all right this is going to make question a quite easy to do we're going to do it exactly the same as what we just did now you're going to keep this as 3b over 8 and we're going to double the second fraction now remember this is really 1b right so if I double the 4 I get 8 if I double 1b I'm just going to get 2b just think of it if I've got 1b and I double it I've now got 2 b's all right now we can add it up and go all right the 8's stay the same 3b plus 2b is 5b because I add up the coefficients and that one is now solved all right let's look at question B question B is a bit trickier uh, they're both the denominators are different we're going to keep the 5a over 12 the same but we've got to change the first fraction and we want to make it 12 so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by 4 to both the top and the bottom remembering you must do the same to the top and the bottom because if I multiply by 4 3 times 4 is 12 and 2a times 4 is 8a notice when I multiply the numbers only the number changes the, the letter a or the pronumeral stays the same now it's quite easy to solve because the 12 stay the same if I have 8 a's and I take away 5 a's I've now got 3 a's all right now you think you've solved it and and really you have but you want to see if you can simplify it and in this case you can question a we couldn't but this one we can and I'll just do a little side note in, in red for you 3 over 12 is actually the same as a quarter and if you can't see why you can use your calculator it will simplify fractions for you but what I've done is I've divided the top and bottom by 3 3 divided 3 is 1 and 12 divided 3 is 4 you're allowed to divide fractions just like how you can multiply them as long as you do it by the same number each time and what we learn from this is that 3a, 3a over 12 can also be written as 1a over 4 since 3 over 12 is a quarter and we never write 1 next to it so we would rewrite it as a over 4.